welcome back to my channel and current affairs of 4th month 2019 are as follows first dcb bank launches open banking platform for next generation banking solutions creating a collaborative ecosystem with enterprises fintech and app developers and enhancing customer service delivery dcb bank announced the launch of its open banking platform more than 20 startups fintech merchants enterprises and developers are set to partner with dcb bank for access to its open banking platform apis application programming interface and collaborate on innovation and customer centric products second international shooting sports federation issf world cup was held in new delhi india from 20 february to 28 february 2019 It is the annual edition of the ISSF World Cup which is governed by International Shooting Sport Federation. It is the qualifier of 220 so 2020 Olympic Games. India ranked first in the World Cup along with Hungary. Saurabh Chaudhary and Manu Bhakar claimed gold medal in 20 meter air pistol mixed team event on ISSF World Cup in New Delhi. Third, Tata Steel has been recognized as one of the world's most ethical companies by the Ethisphere Institute of 2019. Ethisphere Institute is a global leader in defining and advancing the standards of ethical business practices. For the eighth time, Tata Steel has got the recognition in the metals, minerals, and mining category. Tata Steel is one of the only two honorees in the metal, minerals, and mining industry. 128 companies are recognized for exemplifying and advancing corporate citizenship transparency and the standards of integrity in the year 2019 the honorees are from 21 countries and 50 industries fourth recently the union cabinet chaired by prime minister narendra modi approved a mou between india and uk on cooperation in weather and climate sciences It also approves MOU between India and Norway for undertaking non-intrusive geological surveys and investigations. Cabinet approves MOU between India and USA to access timeline reports of missing and exploited children and MOU between India and Tajikistan on cooperation in the field of renewable energy. Fifth, former Finance Secretary Hasmukh Adia was appointed as non-executive chairman of Bank of Baroda. The Appointments Committee of Cabinet has approved his appointment as a part-time non-official director as well as non-executive chairman on the board of Bank of Baroda for a period of three years. Adia, a 1981 batch IAS officer of Gujarat, superannuated on November 30 last year. He last served as the Finance Secretary. Sixth, the 2020 ICC World Women's T20 World Cup is scheduled to be the seventh ICC Women's T20 World Cup tournament to be held in Australia between 21st February and 8th March 2020. The final will take place at the Melbourne Cricket Ground on International Women's Day. Seventh, a private sector non-life insurance company in India, ICICI Lombard, has entered into a strategic partnership with Hyderabad-based peer-to-peer lending platform Anytime Loan dot in ATL to provide insurance cover for its lenders and borrowers. ICICI Lombard will offer group secure mind and group personal accident policies to the customers of ATL, which will cover the borrowers of all the types of loan on the. platform with policy term of 1 to 2 1 to 3 years there will be insurance cover for the lenders which will come with free premium for the first year on the compl- compl- uh, complimentary basis on behalf of the beneficiaries atl will absorb this cost the partnership with with reduce the risk of exposure of its lenders and borrowers with which are arising from uncertainty such as accidents death disability critical illness loss of job among others eighth on 28th february the union cabinet approved setting up a new aiims aims at manithi in rewari district haryana at a cost of rupees 1299 crores it was also approved the creation of one post of the director in aims the new aims will add 100 undergraduate mbbs seats and 60 bsc nursing seats ninth indian air air uh, force aif pilot wing commander abhinandan vardhman 
was captured by Pakistani mili- Pakistan military on 27th February after his MiG-21 jet was shot down in POK, Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. After the pilot's release, the Pakistan foreign officer uh, described him as a prisoner of war. Tensions between India and Pakistan flared up when 40 CRPF personnel was killed and many injured on February 14 in one of the deadli- deadliest terror attacks in Pulwana district. IAF carried out a counter-terror operation in Balakot deep inside Pakistan on February 26 and destroyed major camps of jaish e which itself claimed responsibility for the Pulwana massacre. Vadwan was in one of the eight MIG's 21s that took on the invader and shot down Pakistan F-16. Tenth, UNICEF representative in India, Yasmin Ali Haq, lauded the contribution of Potion Abhiyan, a scheme by the central government in reduction of stunning, stunting under nutrition and anemia in women and adolescents by providing monetary support via di- direct cash transfers. It was launched in 2017 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Junjunu, Rajasthan, quoting, Potion Abhiyan has got global recognition for its effort to eradicate malnutrition from India. Cash count, cash transfer is an additional support to the family income. The highlights of these videos are given in the below description box. You can check, uh, you can go and check it down. And if you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel. Stay tuned. Thank you and good luck.